All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, the frontier, where today we are right, we left off in the last episode here in the Hunter's Lodge, where we are attempting to continue on with the I'd Rather Die Young mission, where we are trying to help out the last Pathfinder who wants to die, though Dr. Hurt is hoping to maybe find a way to convince him to live, it seems, and I'm gonna have to make a choice. But before any of that can occur, we have to go through some rituals to become a bleeder, which has led us to the Hunter's Lodge, where we need to find that possible future hunts. And I, I was so terrified that the whole quest was broken and that everything was going to be a complete failure with this because I didn't know if maybe the quest had bugged and the note wasn't displayed or perhaps I read it in the past, which now means we're screwed because I didn't read it, you know, after getting this quest. And uh, thanks to you lovely commenters, it's the latter. <laughs> I did pick up that note ages ago after we did kill everyone here and take the Hunter's Lodge for our own. So I did search through our notes and find where it is, and I'm hoping, hoping that if we reread it right here, we'll be good. If not, I have a contingency plan. I haven't used these console commands in a very long time, so I have them written down on my other monitor here, but just in case, reading this possible future hunt's a uh, note does not advance the quest. We should still be able to continue on with this. So let us read. Nothing's happening. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm assuming then that uh, the quest is marked to uh, advance when I take the note rather than read the note. Cool. Though now that I'm back at this note, I'm assuming it means we're going after the Yeti. The other things on here are meh, even me, but the Yeti, it's a Yeti. And it's also the largest of all of the entries here, so that I'm assuming is what we're going to go find. So we need to find an abandoned salt mine. Alright, well, reading the note didn't work. Let us try the console commands. Oh god, yeah, I, I rarely ever use console commands for quests, so I think, uh, let me not have it over the bed so I can actually see what I'm typing. Uh, SQT to get the quest info. Alright, there we go, that's what I needed, the TF Bleeder quest there. That's what I need to find. So, set, or not find, but advance, so set stage, TF Bleeder quest. Alright, and I don't remember how to do this part. Uh, so we're on the third step, so... Or wait, do I have to complete that? Let's hit three. Nothing happened. Uh, is it four? Nothing happened. Oh! Oh, I think it's actually by... Oh. I think... I think it's by tens? So 30? No. 40. Yes! Freaking yes! <laughs> it's been so long since I used that command. Oh, uh, yeah, it's ju it jumps the quest by tens, not ones. All right, cool. So we're in the next stage. We need to find and kill the Yeti. Where are we going? Oh, boy, over that way, huh? Oh, wow. Really far. Really far! Oh, well, thank God. It's not too far from the satellite facility north, so let's go fast travel to that. And yeah, we can continue. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That that quest basically breaks if you've already pick up, picked up and read that note. <sighs> oh, well. They really should have set that to read rather than collect, because then I would have been able to advance it by, you know, just going, Oh, hey! Read that again. What? Where the hell am I? I, for, for a brief moment in time, saw a, a robo-brain next to us. What the hell was that sound? Oh, that exploded. <gasps> Theo! <gasps> no, no, we need to go check on Theo. <laughs> okay, so that's why it popped us over here. Something was supposed to happen there. That dish exploded. Let's also take out that newly respawned robo-brain. 
Neat. Alright, I was wondering why we were suddenly popped into another area. I saw the debris over there. Ah, oh, I kind of wish I would have seen the explosion. <laughs> oh well, what are you going to do? Alright. Oh no, Theo! We gotta go check on our buddy! There we go. Alright, alright, alright. So let's see. I really just end up killing that poor guy? I mean... Wow, the, uh... <laughs> they really didn't match the contours of the hill when they, uh, set up all that debris, did they? Well, into Station Delta C4. Oh no, Theo! <laughs> Why would they kill that poor man? Oh. Were those robo-brains hostile outside? I just shot out of reflex. I think we would have been fine. Hi, Robo Brain. Hello, sir. Oh, hi. Well, I feel bad now about murdering those Robo Brains. Oh, Sentry Bot too. Hey, buddy. Where's, where's Theo? Where's, where's our buddy? Oh no! No! Ooh, microfusion cells. No! I'm in power armor helmet. I'll take that. Aw, poor guy. No note or anything. Why would the Enclave take the poor dude down? He was just trying to get back with them. Aw. Well, I'll leave you with your robots. I wonder what do we actually have up here now that the dish has exploded. <laughs> A free floating door that I actually can't activate. Oh my god, I think we might be stuck here. <laughs> Okay, okay, they didn't, they didn't really think through the, uh... <laughs> didn't think through that part, did they? <laughs> okay, okay, uh, let's... Oh, God! Oh, hey! Hey, no clip. <laughs> Before I fall to my death. There we go. Oh, never mind. We, we maintain momentum. We maintain momentum. I should have went god mode rather than no clip. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I still feel bad about those poor... Those poor robots I killed. Well, now that I'm not falling, we can no clip down. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, poor Theo, though. Why would they explode him? Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's keep moving this way. See what we're gonna end up finding here. I mean, we're gonna fight a Yeti, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm wondering where that's gonna take us next in this whole bleeder quest. Oh, we gotta get up. Oh, where, where's the red? Where's the red? What? Oh, freaking militia! There we go. He's nope. He's not dead. Of course not. He would up. Oh, there we go. He burned to death. He burned to death. Oh, and spiders! And boom! Got him. Freaking militia coming after me. What'd I ever do to them? I mean, I've killed a lot of them, but they always attack first. I would have no problem with the militia people if they wouldn't have been the ones to attack me first. Alright, I don't need the rest of that. Ooh, we actually have a thing over there too. Oh my god, we have we have unexplored parts of the world over here. All right, we may have to go. We may have to go grab that too before we uh, finish up this quest and head back home. Let's switch to yes, you. I haven't used you in a bit. Hi, Fox. All right, so head up here. Can we actually get up that way? I don't know about that there. Abandoned salt mine! Yay! That's the thing we needed to find from the note! Nice! Alright. Door to abandoned salt mine. Or abandoned mine, rather, it just said on there. We're gonna fight a freaking Yeti! First off, light on. Sneaky. Oh no, my people aren't with me. And do I have to fight the Yeti on my own? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Eh, I'll be fine. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they pop All right, they popped into existence down here. Lovely. Okay. 
Oh, what, what did we just get? I zoomed in right as I did that, so I didn't see. Find a way out of the mine. Okay, so it's a death trap. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I mean, it's a death trap for someone, certainly. Most likely a Yeti. Definitely not us. <laughs> we'll be fine. I was a little, I would have been a little bit worried if, you know, I wouldn't have had my people, but I've got my people. Can I go this way? I mean, it's just blackness. Does that lead anywhere? Nope, invisible wall. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, what do we get over here then? So that no, it doesn't look like a cave passage that way. Or this way. We got some supplies in here. Let's take a look at those. Ooh, a note. Hello. Damn it all. All right, let's read. Back up to the top. And boom. Stupid Jepson, stupid Yeti hunter, stupid Yeti. I barely got out of that place and now all I can do is sit here and die. Great, just great. I should have never agreed to this. I should have left once we ran into that trench coat wearing freak. Now all that's left is me and the dynamite. I might as well just put one of those things into my mouth and light the fuse. Well, his skull's still there, so that's not what he did. <laughs> well, we got plenty of explosives around. Not that I'll use any- Jesus, that's a lot of explosives in here! My god! Not that I'll use any of it. I'll take those cherry bombs, though. Yep, don't care, I never use explosives. Ah, alright, we do have a cave over here. Or do we? Nope, that, that ends. That ends immediately. Never mind! Where the hell are we going? Uh, do I have to blow something up with the explosives? Oh no. But what? What do we what do we explode? Huh. Wait, hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Uh going back to this. Can I I'm not seeing an interact point anywhere here. I was kind of figuring since this seems to be the only one with the green fungi that maybe we could have set an explosive there. And we got maybe something up there. Can I get up there somehow? Uh, no. What the hell are we doing? Uh, huh. So I'm thinking I gotta get up there. How do I get up there without cheating? I'm guessing it has something to do with all the explosives in here. That we've gotta explode something. But what? No, none of these. Any of these? No. See, I'm not seeing a way to climb up there. Uh-oh. We, <laughs> we may be in here a bit. Oh, no. Uh, anything back here I didn't notice? No. Oh, uh, yeah, see, there's green... Oh, there's green fungi over here, too. Oh, activate minecart! Oh, cool. Well, that did nothing. Activate minecart. Oh, okay, so the first mine card didn't work, but the second one did. All right. we. Oh, me. We're actually writing the mine card down. Oh, my God. Who are you? And who was that person we just passed? What the hell just happened? Well, I've been knocked off. Hey, guys. Let's go and find a way to shift the rocks. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a, that's a person who's about to die. Oh, one of those muddock things. Okay, maybe I should have grabbed those explosives earlier. <laughs> if we need to find a way to ship the rocks. Uh-oh. Well, first, I need to explore around here a little bit before we do anything. Well, that was a neat little ride, though. Ooh, hello. Inaccessible. Never mind. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I wish the, uh... <laughs> I wish the minecart ride would have gone on for a little bit longer. That was entertaining. Uh... Okay, through there. Let's check these unnamed objectives. Hollowed out rock. Oh, nice that it tells me of a hollowed out rock. Perfect. You carry anything? I'll take that. 
Poor Muddock, though. Why do we kill him? He wasn't doing anything to us. Poor guy. Uh, hold out rock. Uh-oh. Oh, we, oh, we gotta, like, put something in there? Oh, boy. If you make a blasting cap, you can move the boulders. Oh, God, what? How do I make a blasting cap? Oh, no. Are we stuck here forever? Oh, wait, wait, we got, we got things, we got things. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we still might be stuck here forever, though. Okay, okay, we may need some of these materials. Let's just take a quick inventory. Before we grab anything. Oh, or we just grab that blasting cap right there. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Hope I didn't need those. All right, all right. Well, let's... We've got the blasting cap, though. Let's put that in there and see what happens. Uh, open. Please move to a safe distance. Whoa. I didn't... Why didn't get to a safe distance? Got knocked out again. Oh, lovely. I like it. I should have just stand, stood there. I would have gotten knocked down no matter what, so. Should have stood there and seen the glorious explosion. Oh, great! We're going down here, huh? Quick save. Alright. Oh, and we're loading. <laughs> okay, well, this is a very interesting mine shaft we're in. Oh, we got spiders. Nope, never mind. I saw... It was a living mushroom. I saw skitters and figured spider. But no. A freaking horrifying living mushroom that apparently my people are killing more of. Neat. Oh, that was a bigger one. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. I love it. Alright, so there's no way to go here. Got this root. Oh, hi. Glad that's over. I know, right? Weird mushrooms that attack you? That's just strange. Ooh, that one had 40 millimeter spikes. And we've also leveled. <laughs> Neat. Uh, nope, none there. We got some there. Take it down. Hey. All right, just load it all up in here. <laughs> we are a man of many talents. Beautiful. All right, we got two offshoots. That looks like something. Let's go this way first, though. Baseball ammo. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, mushrooms. I'm gonna let my people take care of it. You're, I'm very close to you, and I don't feel like exploding right now. Whoops. Didn't mean to talk. Didn't mean to talk. Oh, those mushrooms didn't have anything. Uh, that one's already dead. Oh my god, are we? Are we? Are we? We've, we've gone in circles now. There's the big one. Okay. Oh, great, great. Okay, so if we go down here, yep, there's the one I killed. So then we go this way. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, that's a lot of fungi in that weird ring. Like real weird. <laughs> it's like a fairy circle, but. Inside of a cave and on the walls. That's real strange. Hit the snow with a flamer or a shovel to remove it. There must be one around here somewhere. Ah, we're going that way. Okay, do I have a flame? I don't have a flamer on me, but let's see if there's one around here. So the mushrooms noted the, uh, the area we had to move into for the quest. Neat. All right, let's find a shovel or a flamer. Well, we have quite the large cave in here. Oh yeah, there's got to be something. What the? Infernal Hound? Well, it does. A boom! Nice. Reload. This is large and ominous. Bye bye. Excellent. Two infernal hounds down. God knows how many to go. Oh, well, one there. Oh, they're easy to kill. <laughs> Perfect. Why are there giant carts down here with cages? 
Also, we've got them hounds. There it goes. Beautiful. There was one more prancing about back there. Got a f that. Come on, little buddy. You just need to get exploded by my fancy energy weaponry. Come on, come on. I don't got a shot on him yet. He's in. I think he's clipped into the ground a little bit. Kill him. Nope. <laughs> oh, he's clipped into the thing. Oh, there's more. Jesus. Well, I don't recall seeing those inside of the cage. Interesting. And how did they trigger? <laughs> the hell? Oh, tempting fate. Hey, no, nice. <laughs> Man, I love messing with the hounds. That's what everyone else calls them anyways. They look like aliens to me, but whatever. These things could tear us apart if they weren't stupid enough to constantly walk into our traps. Keeping these things in cages couldn't be any easier. I almost feel bad for... Wait, who unlocked the door? Rested note is stained with blood. <laughs> nice. I have all this baseball ammo in these things. Weird. I'll take those. Alright, I'm assuming whoever got, we gotta find is up there. I'm gonna have some more hounds over here, yeah. More that are gonna show up in those traps or the cages. I'm just gonna run ahead and let my people come and join the fun. Come on, guys! Kill! Aim for the nuts. There we go. Teach them to mess Lovely. Alright, let's check in here. See if this one opens and spawns things. Oh, yep, it did! It spawned them! Whoa, they all exploded. <laughs> oh, I do love that ability that I have. There's still one alive, but... Oh, come on. I gotta get just the right spot. There we go. Shoot him already, guys! What the hell? Oh, he's, like, well stuck in there, isn't he? Oh, there we go. He got loose. He got loose. Neat. All right. How do I? How the hell do I get up into this place? Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's just head up there. All these, all these uh, cages are just little distractions. Fun distractions, but distractions nonetheless. Oh my god. Yeah, these hounds really took the place over after uh, killing their former keepers. They are freaking everywhere. All right. Well, up we go. Oh, got that one. I think the rest are already dead up here. Okay, flamer and or shovel. Brahmin stink. Lots of food supplies. And whoever these people were down here, they had some uh, pretty... Pretty decent stuff around. Lots of gear. Magazines. Yeah, I'm not seeing a flamer though. All right, well we got a main bunker up there. That seems like a useless place to put an outhouse when you're literally, literally walking all around those areas down there, collecting the hounds in the cages. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Oh, hi! Oh, I missed him. You know what, you're a little close now, so if I explode you, it's really gonna hurt, but oh well! And I'm hurt. <laughs> of course I am. There we go. I'll take that, I got another! There's a lot of them. Yep, you guys take them down, so I don't explode myself again. There's another one! Oh, so there's more back here than I thought. Hello. Gnome. Okay, anything in here? No, empty jet inhalers. Yeah, let's go up here first before we head into that shack. Nice, 308 rounds. That's good. Yeah, good view of the whole cave. All right, into the shack we go. Surely there must be a flamer in here. Oh, I already see all the red. Yay. <laughs> Boy, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, which I'm glad we are doing it this time rather than last. Oh, hi! Oh, there's still a person. He has a flamer. He's dead now. Good. 
And he also had a pet shutter crab. Weird. All right. Before we do anything with him, hello, Yeti Hunter Terminal? What? Uh, prove them wrong. Everyone at Junk Fleet said I was an idiot when I told them I wanted to build a base in the abandoned mine. Said I would get my entire crew eaten. Shows what those idiots know. They're freezing their butts off and we're building ourselves a cozy little base. They'll all see soon enough. Pretty soon everyone will know the name Harry. Yeti sightings. The Yeti hunter guy finally kicked it. Good. Now I don't have to listen to his whining about the Yeti. Yeah, he was an idiot, but giving credit where credit's due, he knows how to build a house. I haven't slept on a bed this comfortable in years. The Eddie Hunter may be dead, but he's got my guy spooked. I'm getting more and more reports of Yeti sightings after I killed Steve. They stopped talking about it openly, but it's obviously still on their minds. Going to have to do something about that. So much for that. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I thought the cages were secure, the hounds are loose! I can hear them outside, growling, tearing into the guys. Idiots, all of them. I'm sure they'll leave eventually, I'll just wait them out and get the hell out of here. And it was going so well. Yep, definitely didn't prove those people a junk flea wrong. <laughs> Too tired to type! It's been a few days, maybe weeks, it's hard to tell down here. I'm almost out of food, the hounds are still out there, still trying to get in. These other things are here. They aren't hard to deal with, but I haven't been able to sleep because of them. I think it's messing with me. I'm starting to see things. This big gray thing outside. Maybe it's that Yeti. No, no. I just need to rest my eyes. Just have to. Title not available. Can't sleep. Can barely see. Can't do anything. Why can't the hounds just break down the door and eat me already? I should have never come here. I should have never come here. I should. It just keeps on going on for a while. Okay. Well, I at least put the dude out of his misery. <laughs> Alright. Yep, nothing in there. Nothing in there. We got that. We got that. We got that. Let's take the flamer. I'm surprisingly not over-encumbered now. Uh, no. Mine Cave Hall? I mean... I need to go that way, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> Hi, beasts! All clear. Oh, alright. So it was literally just this bit out here, and this is Steve, I assume. Open burial mound, empty. Nah. Uh, nope. Those more burial mounds. Alright. Well, back into the shack. Back the other way, back through here. And let's get to that ice wall. Neat. Can I just jump down here and survive? But, oh god, how'd you get up here? <laughs> get too old for this shit. God damn hellhounds. All right, all right, all right. Let's just go back over here. I'm gonna try for it. Nope. Landed it. Let's <laughs> try to jump to the other ramp. That did not go well. But you know what? We made it. We made it in the end. Oh, they're dealing with more hellhounds, huh? Enjoy yourself, guys. I'm gonna go take down that ice wall. Hmm. All right. Well, we got a flamer now. How is my carry capacity doing? Uh, da -da -da. Oh, hey, we're actually pretty good right now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's get out the flamer. Why not? Neat. Also, what did I have? Skitters is unconscious! That'll be fine. Oh my god, I forgot we picked up that Gatling laser. I should give that to someone. Skitters, you'll be fine. Just, you know, you guys help each other out. Oh, I'm carrying a heavy weapon. Of course I can't sprint. Alright, take down the wall. Hey, oh, there's more wall. Well, that's kind of fun. Nice. Oh, more. Made it! Oh, Jesus! Not Yeti! <laughs> uh, okay, okay. There was... I love that his name was not Yeti. <laughs> I was about to say, oh my god, was the Yeti just a super mutant? Nope, nope, he's not the Yeti. Uh, what's... What's our actual quest here now? Uh... Find a way out of the mine still, and... Oh, we still gotta kill the Yeti? You know what? I'm gonna burn this Yeti. Let's burn him down. I got a flamer now. Why not? I got crap loads of flamer fuel I'll never use. Uh, what are we, what are, what are we doing here? Is this an elevator? Oh, it is. <laughs> I stepped on it and started low. Oh my god, what the? 
Hi, oh, Supreme Yeti, and you're already dead. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Well, I got Yeti blood added, and my gun was taken away from me, and I can no longer move. I'm guessing I'm in a cutscene now. Neat. <laughs> well, I mean, what was that Yeti going to do? There were so many people around him. <laughs> <laughs> Escape! You managed to get out of the cave just as it collapsed behind you. The only thing that proves your adventure was real is the small cup of blood you now hold in your hand. Time to talk to Dr. Hurt! Oh, God. It's all got buried. Oh. Oh, my people got buried too! Oh, no! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's uh, fast travel out of here. Uh, da, 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 da. I was thinking of maybe going to grab the one of those other waypoints that's nearby on the compass, but that cave took a lot longer than I anticipated. So let's head back to the dock and see how this goes. That poor Yeti, he just, he had a no chance. I didn't even have a good chance to take a look at him. It was just immediately dead. I mean, we already know what he looks like from our hunting lodge, but still, that poor guy. <laughs> he had no chance. Okay, where is the dock? Alright, light on. Dock upstairs. Hey, Doc! What do you need? I! Oh, so apparently we're doing a transfusion of the Yeti blood, too. Oh. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting to hear that today. Neither was I. Or ever. Same. But I can get it done. Alright, thank you. By the way, I took a look around the sanctuary, and I think I found something. Did you? There's an old rule. So old that I don't think anyone bothered to remember it. Oh. It basically says that if anyone is of unsound mind, they need to be put on house arrest until another bleeder deems them sane. Uh-huh. Since pretty soon you're going to be the only other bleeder in Portland, you could declare Last Pathfinder insane and trap him here. That, oh. He wouldn't be able to do anything. Including hurt himself. I mean, that also kind of sounds... Yeah, that kind of sounds cruel. Yeah, that kind of sounds cruel, man. I know. It is. As far as I know, though, it's the only way to keep him from going through with this. It's not exactly an easy decision. No, really not. Uh... There's a better way to do this. I know there is. I hope so. I really do. The transfusion is done. Good luck. Neat. Now I'm, I have Yeti blood coursing through my veins. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta speak with Last Pathfinder. I'm assuming it's gonna be some speech checks in there probably, so let's remember to take off our freaking helmet this time. Uh, yeah, take that off for the negative one charisma. <laughs> now, now we should be fine. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, thank God. I, I almost saw the sneak negative one. We're good. We're good. Speech is good. Speech is fine. Okay. Okay. We need to chat, Last Pathfinder. Okay, we're, 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 we're quick saving here. I mean, whatever decision ends up happening, we're going with it, but... Is there something you require, Appendix? <sighs> okay. 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 Buddy? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I gotta look at the quest. Is it... Is it just go talk to him now? Yeah, speak to him. Okay, okay. That's what I figured, but... Is there but... something you... Re yeah, no, 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 no. I've got the, the Yeti blood flow through me. I heard. Now comes the final part of your initiation. Recite the rites of the bleeders to me, one after the other. Oh, God. Oh, no. Do I actually... Yeah, who wrote the rites? <laughs> Our ancestors wrote them as part of an ancient war song. No, they the didn't. The song was lost, but its meaning is preserved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, none of these things were in the rites that I read. I like that, though. Sure, we're gonna go with this one? Yes, good. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, how are we on that? Mm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. 
Yeah, it was definitely a children's song. Uh, like a tree that we grow every morning. I'm gonna go with this? Ah, uh, it is good to hear the rights one last time. None of that was in that you thing. <laughs> are no longer an appendix. Your blood is my blood. Uh -huh. Your pain is my pain. Okay. Your joy, my joy. Neat. You are a bleeder. Cool. Now, challenge me to combat. Hold on a moment, buddy. First, I want to know what happened to the bleeders. You are one of us now. You deserve to know the truth. Indeed. In all fairness, the tribe was dying a slow death already. Then the plague came. Oh, no. During uh, one of our raids, a Selen raped one of the conquered women. This was normal. We didn't think nothing of it. What he didn't realize was that woman carried a disease. He was infected and carried it back to the sanctuary. The plague spread fast and killed quickly. That's when we brought in Dr. Hurt. Mm -hmm. He told us that the disease was spread by liquids, including blood. Dr. Hurt did what he could, but there was little left to save. All right. Our traditions, Wait, hold on a moment. the communal bleedings, well, that's what killed us. So uh, the survivors went their separate ways, and I remained here. Uh I was injected with some of the blood. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Why well, keep it secret? Dying of a plague is embarrassing enough, but it was our traditions, our beliefs, that led to our demise. Oh. Rather than sully the tribe's name, we chose to keep our shame a secret. Even the Resner understands that. Mm. What was this disease? We called it the Virilistus, the dying shadow. Dr. Hurt called it syphilis. Ha! You know, there's like penicillin and shit. Why stay? Because I too suffer from the disease. Dr. Hurt keeps me comfortable and alive, but I can't risk leaving the sanctuary without infecting others. I'm still very unhappy that I have some of the bleeder blood in me from that first transfusion. God damn it. Is that why you keep yourself covered? Yes. The disease causes sores on the body. The clothing helps me manage them, but uh, only just. Uh, so we either fight and kill him right now or go with Dr. Hurt's thing. Uh, but maybe with uh, talking to do the doctor, maybe we can like convince him about something else. I don't know. I'm going to hit no. No? What do you mean, no? After all this work, you wouldn't... Fine. Then I challenge you. Tradition be damned. I won't die this way. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Oh, thank God. Speech. I'm good at that. The bleeders are dead. But you still live. Yeah, what's the point? Oh, the bleeders were my tribe. My family. I have nothing now. You can rebuild the bleeders. Become a teacher. You don't have to die alone. Oh, my God. Are we going to be... Oh, yes. I like this. Oh. You're right. All this time, I've, I've just sat here feeling sorry for myself. I was obsessed with our past when I should have looked toward the future. Thank you for doing this. From this day forward, you are Antbod. That means friend. Okay. I was hoping we had more conversation there. Maybe it'd be like, hey, you know, maybe some of your traditions should change, though. <laughs> like the ones that ended up getting you killed. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, talk to the doc. Hey, doctor. Wow. That was... Wow. That was a whole lot better than my plan. I, I know, so right? This is probably the first time I've seen Last Pathfinder happy. Thank you for everything. No problem. You deserve this. Okay. I wonder if whenever we come back if there might be more people here. And quest completed! Yay! Yeti blood was removed, but not from me. The Yeti blood courses through my veins. Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna end it here, folks. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a 40 minutes. I think that's a pretty good point to end at. And next time, I'm thinking we get back to the main storyline. I think there is still, like, a couple more quests out in the world that we could do, but... I don't know, I kind of feel like getting back to the main storyline for now and going to, uh, into the lion's den. So I think we will begin that. But until that time, my friends, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.